Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you six shortcuts in Affinity Photo that will be useful for you when doing your editing. Well, if you already know about some of the shortcuts that I'm about to show you, that's cool. But I suggest you to keep watching this video till the end. Maybe you will find a new shortcut that you didn't know before and will be helpful for your next editing. Okay, so with any further ado, let's get started. First, let's create a new document. Okay, so I'll do something simple in this video. Okay, I will make a rectangle and put it on the middle like this. Okay, that's good. So the first shortcut is how to deselect. Okay. So let's say that I want to duplicate only this area of this layer. Okay. So I will make a selection. Okay, and then duplicate this layer. Okay, first I need to rasterize it. Okay. So there are two ways two shortcuts that you can use to deselect. The first one, I bet you already know about this. You can press Ctrl D to deselect like this. And the second shortcut is, it is more simple. All you have to do is to click ESC button to deselect like this. Okay, so I will change the color first. Let's change it to dark blue and put other shadow. Like this. Okay. Next, when you want to duplicate a layer, I believe most of you do it by pressing Ctrl J. Okay, so there are other shortcuts you can use. Just press and hold Ctrl or Alt button, and then use the Smooth tool and drag the object that you want to duplicate, like this, and release it. Okay, so this is very useful when you want to duplicate a lot of object okay you can use the shortcuts just hold ctrl or alt key and then drag it up like this okay next you can see the previous location of the layer when you want to move it okay Let's say that I want to move this layer uh, to the right side, right here. Okay. So when I move it, I can see the previous location of this layer by press and holding control button. As you can see, I can see the previous location. When I release it, it's gone. Okay. So you can use it to align the layer. Okay. Like this and then release the left click on your mouse okay if you want to reduce or increase the opacity of the layer you don't have to go to to here and slide the slider like this okay so all you have to do is press the number buttons on your keyboard so let's say that you want to reduce the opacity of this layer to 10%, just click one button. Okay. And if you want to increase it to 15%, just click one and five. Okay, like this. You need to click it faster. Let's try 26. Okay, like this. So you don't have to go to here as like the slider. Okay, if you want to zoom in or zoom out, 
you don't have to use zoom tool anymore okay you can just click control minus to zoom out and control plus to zoom in like this or you can press control one to zoom it to a hundred percent okay let's see this and control two to zoom in to 200 percent control three to 400 percent and control four to eight hundred percent you can also click control zero to zoom it to fit the workspace like this okay so we'll bring it back to a hundred percent okay last shortcut so you can resize your document by pressing Control alt and i okay as you can see this is the description of the size of your document so you can resize it okay just change the size and you can also change the dpi right here so you don't have to create a new layer new document and move all of this layer to the new document okay you can just press ctrl r and i to resize your document or you can press ctrl r c to resize your canvas but as you can see here there's no dpi option okay so i suggest you to click ctrl r and i to resize your document and one more thing i just want you to know about this so you can change your keyboard shortcut to whatever you want okay just go to edit preferences keyboard shortcuts so right now we are in photo persona and file menu bar okay just click on it to change it okay and then click this blank table okay let's try this exit so let's try this control and C okay if you see the sign over here it means that you cannot use the shortcut because it's already used to copy as you can see so just uh, use other button and just press this reset button to reset all of it to default you can also save the settings here and then load it to another computer okay okay so that's all for this video i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit that like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you have already and i will see you guys in the next video